Welcome again to another children's service. My name is Ade. I hope you guys are fine. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Uh, how is your mommy? How is your daddy? How are your siblings? I hope you are all fine. In today's lesson, I'm going to be telling you a story. We are going to be learning about forgiveness. Um, before we go on, let us close our eyes and pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for bringing us together again. Thank you for another Sunday service. Father, we pray, oh Lord, that you help us and teach us forgiveness in Jesus' name. Help us to forgive others because you also forgive our sins in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now, like I told you earlier, we are going to be teaching about forgiveness. But before I go on, let us Clap our hands, let us dance, and let us sing. Walking with Jesus, walk every day, walking all the way. Walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus today. Walking in the sunshine, walking in the rain, walking every day. Walking all the way, walking in the sunshine, walking in the rain, walking with Jesus today. I hope you're dancing and I hope you're clapping. Praying with Jesus, praying with me, praying all the way, praying. With Jesus, praying with Jesus today. Praying in the sunshine, praying in the rain, praying every way, praying all the way. Praying in the sunshine, praying in the rain, praying with Jesus today. Yay! Clap for yourselves. Yay! I hope you dance and I hope you clap. Now, like I said, we are going to be teaching about forgiveness. But before we go on, I'm going to tell you our memory verse. Our memory verse can be taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 14 to 15. And it says, if you forgive others when they sin against you, your heavenly father will, uh, will forgive your sins. But if you do not forgive others when they sin against you, your, your father will not forgive your sins. Let us say it together. Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 to 15. If you forgive others when they sin against you, your heavenly father will forgive your sins. But if you do not forgive others when they sin against you, your heavenly father will not forgive your sins. Can you now see why forgiveness is so, so important? Okay, we are going, I'm going to be telling you the story of the prodigal son. Now, there was a man, he was a wealthy man and he had two sons. One day, the younger son told his father and said, I want a share of my inheritance now. So he wanted his father to give him a portion of his inheritance while his father was still alive. That was so, so wrong. It was so wrong of the younger son to tell his father. But his father went ahead and gave him a portion of his inheritance. Now, the uh, younger son packed all his belongings and went to a far, far place. When he got to the far, far place, he began to spend all the money. He began to mix with the kind of friends that he was not supposed to mix with. And very soon and very soon, he finished 
the inheritance, he finished the money, everything that his father had given to him. Not long, there was famine in the land and he became very hungry. He was starving and he was unhappy. Now he went to a farmer and told the farmer, please let me feed your pigs and then so that he could get little money so that he could feed himself also now he began to feed the pigs and, and 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 soon the food even the food of the pigs looked like real food that he could eat you can imagine the child of a wealthy man feeding pigs and even eating with the pigs that is disgusting don't you think <laughs> so um the younger son realized that oh i have to go to my father i have to go and beg my father what i have done is wrong the younger son realized that he had wronged god and he had also wronged his father when so he decided to go back home and even before he got home he saw his father looking at him already and his father opened his arms wide and gave him a big hug can you give your siblings a, is your sister beside you or your brother or your mom or your dad give them a big warm hug that is the type of hug that the rich man gave to his younger son which was the prodigal son now he ordered all his servants to give the younger son clothes food shelter sleepers and everything and he also told them to kill the fattest cow in their farm and cook delicious and sumptuous meal for the son now the older son was already in the farm and he was coming back home and soon he began to hear loud noises and sounds of rejoicing in the home and then he asked what is going on here and the father told him your brother is back and we are rejoicing and we are also celebrating and then he said oh father i have lived with you all these years i have been loyal to you and yet you've not done what you are doing for my brother to me and the father told him oh my son you don't understand your son, your brother was lost but now he is found and they were all happy and they lived ever after don't forget that the younger son asked for forgiveness from the father and the father forgave him can you see that forgiveness is very important so when somebody in your school or even your sister or your brother does something that really hurts you please always forgive them even when they come to you to say sorry even when they don't say sorry please always forgive them okay remember our by uh, our memory verse matthew 6 verse 14 to 15 if you forgive those who sin against you your your father in heaven will also forgive your sins but if you do not forgive those who sin against you, your Father in heaven will not forgive your sins. I hope you have enjoyed this session. I will see you again soon and very soon. God bless you. It is well with you. It is well with you. You are blessed. You continue to be highly favored. You will continue to be a light that cannot be hidden in the name of Jesus. You will do wonders. You will fulfill purpose and all shall be well with you, your loved ones, your sister, your brother, your mommy, your daddy, and everybody around you i love you i remain a day and i will see you again bye